The arraignment of eight persons for alleged involvement in the rape, murder, and stealing of items from Blessing Olajide in July 2021 no doubt came as a relief to many who had lamented the gruesome murder of the young undergraduate. After about 17 months of legal fireworks from both the prosecutor and the defense, the long-awaited judgment day is here and the atmosphere within the court was that of apprehension. It was a mixture of silence and emotion as Justice Ibrahim Yusuf reviewed all facts of the case and delivered judgments on each of the 11 count charge leveled against the defendants for about five hours. Abdulaziz Ismail, Ajala Moses and Oyeyemi Timilenyi, who were the principal suspects, were convicted for armed robbery, culpable homicide and rape and sentenced to death by hanging. By virtue of Section 221 of the Penal Code, it's death sentence for culpable homicide. So they were accordingly convicted and sentenced to death. But the irony of it, is that those involved are very young men. While the 6th, 7th and 8th defendants were discharged and acquitted, the two brothers, Shuaib and Rashid Karim, were not that lucky as they were sentenced to three years imprisonment for helping in stealing money from Blessing's bank account. I'm so grateful that the killer of my daughter has been sentenced to death. How I wish she can return. I'm happy we cried out. I'm happy the world heard us. I'm happy that judgment has been served. For us to get this justice within 18 months is something to really congratulate the judiciary for. And this should serve as deterrent to others. To the family of Omoumi and human rights activists who have been seeking justice for the slain Unilorin student, the judgment has further confirmed the role of judiciary as a last hope of common man which will always catch up with the criminals. Kainde Omolosho, NTA News.